easier to put in than this stuff was. Baldwin was very, very tricky. Um, another reason why I wanted that wood, which it's going to scoot this back a bit, probably right there. Okay, this has a shadow right under that lip. If I move it out further, it goes back. Oh, t so taking this lid off. Yeah, you know, taking this lid off is a pretty permanent thing. There's a rod that goes through a continuous hinge. So that rod may come out. Has anybody ever tried that? I guess we'll be the first. Uh, but I still wanted this wood backer to hang this on. And if I look, if I install it carefully enough, I will be able to get two rows of these on the hooks. Now, they don't, these can stack, but they're not great for stacking. Makes it really hard to get stuff in and out of the one right below it. So if I mount the doodads, so that one is literally sitting on the desk but still hooked in and then one above it here that'll give me just enough room to get my whole hand in so that's good I can go if I decide to do it let's move these out of the way I could go several several that way to five looks like over here I've just got it temporarily set up I hadn't decided since I do have a narrower that's one of the things I'm not real thrilled with as it never did after going over those videos all weekend is I didn't I was hoping to come out to about here with 20 inches but this is uh, what was it again what did this end up being fully 18 this is 18 and a half, almost 18 and a half. So, let go. Not the full 20, close though. And uh, yeah, this would be a permanent alteration is drilling these rivets out of the kit. We left. it out we will see it's really old plastic so I don't want to hurt it but those are riveted through Ports underneath. But yeah, I could drill those rivets out. If I ever had to re rivet it, it wouldn't be a big deal. Wouldn't be a big deal. In case you've never lifted your pen kit up. <laughs> oh. But yeah, definitely I'm going to get rid of the handle. In fact, I'm going to do that right freaking now. Yes, I am. Just in case I do this as a whole separate video, I am removing the handle from the front of this kit. This handle has kind of driven me crazy ever since I have had this kit. I'm never, ever, ever gonna lift up the kit closed by the handle. So we are gonna drill out the rivets. And uh, the only way to do that
look in there and see. They are kind of blind rivets, if you can see them. And they're brass. They could be replaced if you found the correct ones. But again, I am not concerned about it. So let's see how that goes, shall we? I need a good drill bit. Six and a half hours late. Okay, we are not going to show that on video because it was horrible drilling. Horrible drilling practices. But, handles off. <laughs> Y'all see that fly just come back? I did. I certainly did. I hate spring loaded punches. It worked. While I got it apart, let's see about removing the lid. Where'd my coffee go? Well, I can't find my punch, guys. So I'm gonna have to add lead a little bit. I don't know about this. This might be a very bad idea. There's real no no real way to do this. Without a really thin, long punch to get it most of the way out. Not understanding of continuous hinges 
Because once they're in, like all I'm doing is, all I'm doing is bending that hinge out. I don't want to do that. But it's pretty much factory tack welded on the back, so that is not going to be a real easy thing to do with the hope of it getting put back like it's supposed to be. So I'm going to suffice with just the front handle off. Just find me a way to fill those holes, which I'll probably do with just line rivets. I have a board behind this to give it a little bit better angle. Now that it's at eye level, I probably don't need that. Ow, ow, it's just been its friend for a while. So I'll retrieve my piece of wood. I think that's walnut. But we'll get the handle off. Holes are going to bug me. <laughs> Maybe I should have just bent that. Yeah. Probably should have. With. Could have just bent that out of the way. And left the hasp on there. But that would be kind of hard to do without scratching it up. So, again, I can probably... I can, uh, I can deal with that because I can always find brass rivets to re-rivet it in. The age thing may be an issue. It won't uh, be as aged as the rest of the kit, but whatever. It's like I probably will never put it back on there. I'm just going to fill the holes. And uh, I'm going to find this effing fly. In the meantime, we have gotten a good workout with the bench. Huh? Oh, this one back here. I need a different small parts organizer now. I've been using these just out of convenience. And uh, now I have enough space to maybe put a, a kit, a small kit of some kind up here. So that is yet another fun little thing to come up with. These are, uh, find them at a craft shop. They're pallet in the paint section where you mix up different little finger paints. However, they make great pen kits because one, two, three, four, five, six. Hey, need a cheap. It's not great by any means because it's, you know, if something does that, you could always cut that off. But it's, I would much prefer to have a solid square flat bottom. So. Not ideal, but good for temporary use if you just need it to do one lock or whatever. All right, so now I'm on to finding a good spot to put my microphone up here without it being in the way of this shelf. And in fact, come to think about it, I may actually move this shelf down here and leave this side open if I move... 36, 34, move it 12 more inches. Mm -hmm. I would put it right the edge of it there, which is pretty much directly center with. Just a little bit off, but almost center with it. So I could put the microphone right beside this and kind of angle it down towards me. That way it would get, that's probably what I'm going to have to do. Because if I put the microphone like right, mounted right here, it's just going to get in the way of these drawers. So I had a phone call in that interrupted that video and I don't remember where I was at in it. So I'll finish up by saying, see you next video. Thanks guys.